What's up, my name is Jay and in this video I want to teach you the very basics of promises and fetch. So let's say that you have two functions and your first function depends on your second function or your second depends on whatever other function and it's a whole mess. So that's why I use promises. It, it helps me a lot with that problem of um, depending on other stuff. So let's get into it so you can understand what I'm talking about. So let's create our one function, like our first function. Let's say first function equals to function. Okay, and inside this function is gonna be the promise. So let's return a new promise, just like this. And inside this promise, it's going to be a function with two arguments. It's going to be resolve and reject. Okay. So resolve is a success. And if there's some kind of error, it's going to reject. So let's say resolve. And inside here, I'm going to put something. It can be whatever you want. I'm going to put just a regular string. It's going to say your cat is something okay so your cat is something all right so let's see what we got if i read console log this function so let's console log first function let's run this all right so here in the console you can see a promise so it's a promise and he's saying promise status resolved and the promise value is your cat is. So right now we have this value that we can use in the future. So it's like a promise. It's like, hey, I promise to hold you this for you and you can use it later if you want to. Perfect, that's what I want. So let's create a second function. So let's do second function equals to function and now here I'm going to I'm going to add an argument that we're going to use later to get this data and you're going to you're going to understand in a minute so let's call it um, data from first function you can call it whatever you want okay all right now let's create let's return that promise again so return promise I'm sorry new promise okay and then inside this promise we're gonna create that function again so it's gonna be function and the two arguments resolve reject and now here we're gonna do resolve oops resolve and here we're going to use this plus and it's going to be whatever um, I'm getting from this function so this is going to convert to uh, to your cat is and then plus I don't know your cat is crazy <laughs> great so now you can see that my second function depends on whatever I have in my first function. So if for some reason my second function runs and my first function takes 10 seconds to load, it's going to be undefined. So this is going to be like undefined crazy. That's what's going to say. So let's console log the second function so we can see what we have. Let's copy and paste it. Let's run this. And here you can see. So it's resolved. Promise val value undefined crazy. See? So we have an undefined. But now we have both functions, we have both promises, and we can use them both in, in a specific order. So let's go ahead, let's remove this, and let's do that now. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this first function. Okay, just like this. So remember, this function returns a promise so we can use something called then. So this function runs, then give me the value. So we're going to do this, then function just like this. And here I'm going to add an argument. We it can see it can be whatever you want. I'm going to call it data. And let's do something. Let's console log data to see what we have. So let's console log data. All right, let's clear this and let's run. Here you go. Your cat is. So right now this data, we're getting whatever is in the function, the this value and it's inside this argument. So we are constantly log this. So what I want to do is I want to console log the second function so we can see what we have. All right, second function, but I'm going to pass the argument. Remember the function that says data from first function. So now this data have the data from the first function. I don't know if that's confusing right now, but bear with me, okay? So I'm going to put data here and let's see what happens. Let's run it. Now we have that promise and it's saying your cat is crazy. So we have now a promise with both functions working correctly. We pass the second function with the data of the first function. And now we can use it. So I'm going to just going to remove this console log and instead I'm going to say return. Second function with the data, which the data is your cat is. But remember, I'm running the second function, which is this one. So it's like data from the first function plus crazy, which is your cat is crazy. See? But now we have this promise. Now we have to do this to actually use that data. So we can use the, your cat is crazy for whatever we want. So let's do then function. We're going to pass that data again. All right. Just like this. And now let's console log data again. Let's run it. And now we have a string of your cat is crazy that we can use for whatever you want. You can use it like if you put alert. Let's run this. Your cat is crazy. See, so now you can actually use this for your websites for but you can see um, that we are running the first function and then taking that value from the first function, put it on the second function and then getting everything so we can use it. And this is how promises work. Um, there's a lot more like you can say, I want the value after everything is done or I want the value after only one of them, one of them, the function is done or there's a lot you can do with promises. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go ahead and play with it. Okay. All right. So let's go to fetch. So I use fetch to get data from APIs. That's what I do. Um, but you can actually post data. You can update data. You can do a lot more. But let's do that. So let's do fetch. Okay. And there's an API that I'm using here that is giving me a list of events. So you can see here that it says events and it's like a list that give me dates and titles and everything. So I'm going to, I'm just going to put copy that URL. I'm going to put it in here. There you go. So let's, let's console log fetch. Let's do that. Let's console log. Let's console log all this. So let's see what we get. 
look at this. We have a promise. So we have a promise, it's resolved. Here is our value, it's a response with all these things. So right now we don't have the data yet because we have to let fetch know what is this data. So right now all this data is a JSON. Is, is a JSON file that you can actually use for your web app or your website or application or whatever you want. But we need to let them let fetch know that it's JSON. So let's go, let's remove this. And I'm going to do dot then. You can do it here, but I like to do a space that way we can actually read it a little bit better. So it's going to be then, it's going to be function. And inside here, I'm going to do the response. Okay, so it's going to be response. Just like this. And I'm going to return. Actually, let's console log the response so we can see what is this. Let's clear this out. Let's run it again. And take a look at this. So the response is actually all that data that we saw, um, but we cannot, like I want the JSON file, but fetch doesn't know. So let's do this, response.json. Let's run it again. Oops, wait, JSON like that. All right, let's run it again. Let's take a look at this promise. And you can see that it says promise resolved. Now it's resolved and it's promise value is an object. And take a look at this. It's an object. Here is all the event that we want. So now fetch understands what we want. So it's a JSON file. So here you go. Now it's an object with all this data. Awesome. So let's do the same thing. Let's just remove this console log and let's return it. So return response.json, all right? But now this is a promise. I wanna actually use the data. So I'm gonna do then function response inside. All right, and now let's return that response. Let's clear this out and let's run it again. And look at this. Now we have all this data that we can actually use for our app or our website or whatever you're doing. Let's open this events um, tutorial that I did a couple days ago or a week ago or something. And you can see that I'm using fetch here to get all these events and I'm actually displaying the events to the user and you can see like the title and the dates and everything, but it's actually using fetch, returning all those promises and using the then. So now that you understand how it works, you can take a look at this and say, you know, now I kind of understand it. And now there's something here that I use for caching error. So if there is an error, um, you can see that I use dot catch and then it will console log whatever error. All right, so I hope you find this very useful and you can use it for your projects and your daily coding to build stuff like this. All right, and that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.